Hi folks, one of my occasional gadget reviews here. Uh, I've just got this Optima UHD51 4K pixel shifting projector from Optima. It's to replace my HD33 which I've had now for 6-7 years. Uh, it's been great, uh, I do love the 3D on it and I wasn't wanting to give that up so hence going for the Optima instead of one of the cheaper 4K projectors out at the moment. So there's the box, let's see what we get inside. A little remote control. Quick start manual. OK power lead. And continental power lead. That looks to be it, other than the projector. It's got a pretty small remote control. It does have a backlight though and pretty limited functions. I think most of them are on the menu system. So there's the beastie. Thankfully it's only actually about an inch wider than my existing projector. So it shouldn't be a problem fitting up there. It is black unfortunately as opposed to the, the 33. I have got the seal mount so hopefully it should fit on that no problems. I'm just going to test it up temporarily just now. This does actually have a very limited lens shift. So it's up and down about 10% of the picture height. And uh, the zoom lens is a 1.3. That's a wee bit more than the, the original Optima that I've got. So on the back what have we got? Ethernet connector. And there is RS232 port for a serial connection to a PC. HDMI 1, which is the version 2 for um, obviously the, the 4K. And HDMI 2, which is also seen as a uh, version 2. Uh, VGI port, 12 volt out for a trigger for, uh, for a motorized projection screen. Audio in and out because this one's actually got stereo speakers which I'm led to believe are actually pretty good. There's a USB power out as well so if you want to stick a fire stick in it. So uh, eh, interesting. And an SPDI fault for the optical audio. And there's some sort of servicing port as well up the top here. Been to Amazon. And I've got this CSL lead here, it's supposed to be HDMI 2 compatible. Uh, 10 meters because I've got to run it under the floor, up to my Blu-ray player and up to the projector. 10 meters it is, uh, it's really stretching it, so we'll see how good this cable is. Well, I've plugged it into my Fire TV box. Uh, my amplifier is HDMI 2 compatible. Um, but we'll see how that goes at a later stage. I just want to check it just now and see how it goes. Uh, we've got a streaming from my, my Fire TV. Well, that's me. I've closed my curtains. Still got the light streaming in through the door though. Let's cut off. And we'll see if I switch on. With the blue light's on, that's a, that's a nice start. Well that's took about a minute to line up to the projector screen. That's nice. Oh aye, English. Front facing. Eco on. Oh, complete. That was easy enough. There we go, we're getting a picture. I think the only uh, 4K stuff I'm likely to get just now is actually from YouTube. We'll see if the app actually supports it. First thing we see. Right, I'm going to fire up this uh, UHD test card just now, see what we actually get resolution wise. The first lens are resolution patterns, so we'll see if it can actually resolve the full 4K. Yeah, there is a hint of it in the vertical line single pixels. See it better on the still image though. 
The two pixel vertical lines are absolutely fine, no problems there. Yeah, there's definitely a hint in the horizontal single pixel display as well. I'll put a still up too. The two pixel is no problem whatsoever. It's pretty hard to discern the single pixel chase pattern, but the two pixel is perfectly fine. Okay, let's see how this one goes first off. It's a Sony demo. There we are. You're only getting a hint of the quality that I'm seeing just now. The colours are brilliant. The blacks look pretty black considering the amount of light I've got bouncing around here off my white ceilings and my wooden floors, beige walls. Really not the best environment for a projector. The banding on the video is just due to a frame mismatch between the camera and the projector. This projector is actually a lot shorter throw than my last one. It's actually sitting about 3 feet further forward than the, the, the UHD 33. So really I reckon I could get 140-150 inch screen here no problem. Playing clips through Plex Media Player is perfectly fine as well. Just got to be careful of the quality that you stream. Unfortunately, the Fire TV box doesn't actually do HDR, so these are just the normal SDR images that we would get. I really don't think the cable's up to either because I've checked out with a new Sony UHD Blu ray player and it just doesn't work at all, so it's not sending out the 60 hertz signal. Back to the drawing board. Pleased to report the 3D is also pretty amazing, although it is a little jerky in comparison with HD33 as it doesn't have the frame interpolation. Uh, it really does a remarkable job, uh, colour and clarity, brightness is really really good. I've actually got these uh, 3D active glasses from eBay, Cintron I think they were called, and it was uh, two pairs for £15. Uh, DLP link was the only glasses that you can use for this uh, projector and these work pretty good. They never had a sync problem. Sometimes I've had to invert the image but that's about it. Okay, I've had the projector a couple of weeks now so what are my final thoughts? So there we are, really pleased with the projector so far. I've still not had to try it with uh, the UHD player. Has uh, still not got a cable that's going to be fast enough for it yet. I can't wait to see the HDR and maybe some stuff for the 60 hertz. Really pleased though. In comparison with my 33, 3D isn't as smooth uh, due to the frame rate interpolation that it's got on the 33. Colour and sharpness on this thing are really amazing. Uh, it's really about half of what you would have paid last year for a comparable model. If you're looking to get into the 4K projection world, you could do a lot worse than this. Overall, I'm really pleased with this. But if you're not interested in 3D at all, I would maybe look at the UHD 40 instead. It's about two thirds of the price of this, and I've got a feeling that it would be exactly the same with the normal 2D 4K stuff. So there you go. Pay your money, take your choice. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe.